27th Middle Amateur Championship truly tested the mental and physical resolve of its contenders. Entering round two of play at Philadelphia Cricket Club's Militia Hill Course, Chip Lutz of Ledrock Golf Club, the 2007 title holder, held a one-shot lead over Bill Jeremiah of Bitterman Golf Club. At first, it seemed that the championship would boil down to a shootout between the two as both players birdied their first hole of the day. Jeremiah stayed hot on the par 4, 409-yard number two with this 9-iron approach to set up a tap-in birdie. Two holes later, he escaped the greenside bunker and drained this six-footer on the par four fourth to take the mid-am lead at seven under. Following a string of three straight pars, Jeremiah nailed his gap wedge 118 yards and converted a 12-footer for birdie on the par four eighth. At that point, he seemed in control and comfortable as the leader. I knew I was eight and the guys I were with was a couple back. I didn't see Tommy on the scoreboard at all at that point. Tommy, better known as Tom Gramigna of Tavistock Country Club, experienced a golf awakening on his inward tour. Standing a sturdy six strokes back of Jeremiah, his flat stick caught fire as Gramigna birdied five of his final nine holes. On the reachable par 5 14th, Gramigna was on the green in two. I have 187, which is a long six iron, but I was starting to feel the adrenaline, so okay. I was starting to hit a little bit less club. His ensuing eagle try stopped just shy of the cup, and he then tapped in for birdie. Gramigna also escaped trouble on the par 5 17th after his approach caught the greenside bunker. He successfully blasted out and converted this 12 footer for birdie. Gramigna tapped in for par on his final hole to secure a seven under par score for the tournament. Um, so I just wanted to go ahead and hit it because I just didn't want to see anything else. I just sort of said, you know, I, I can make this. Let me go up and be done with it. And then, yeah, it was an easy pot. I mean, it was as easy as you're going to get. But you're still pretty nervous. At that point, I was, you know, again, nervous and relaxed sort of at the same time. But I, I, I wanted it over with. <laughs> Meanwhile, Jeremiah continued his proficient play. A blemish did come on the par three 161 yard 11th hole as Jeremiah three putted for an unfortunate bogey. But he rebounded with this fantastic approach into the par four 12th and converted the ensuing birdie trot. Jeremiah was at seven under entering the par three 15th when he converted this critical putt to save par. He bogeyed the par four, 393 yards, 16th, but drained an uphill 25 footer for birdie on number 17 to stay at seven under. 16, uh, pulled my wedge a little bit to the left and there was a swale down there. And then uh, that was the hole I was a little, I was just a little nervous, I guess. I uh, got a little out of my routine on the putt and blew it like 12 feet by and then left it right in the middle coming back for par. That was, a, that was my one hole that was really poorly executed. From about 85 yards, I was a little disappointed. I thought he had a pretty good shot, but I was about 25 feet short of the hole. Uh, I knew I was one back at the time, and I made it to tie, which was, that was fun. With Gramigna in the house, it all came down to the par four, 428-yard 18th. A birdie would win it for Jeremiah, and a par would mean a playoff for the title. And uh, I had, I think, 199 to the hole, and uh, I thought I could hit a six iron that would land on the front. I thought it would be perfect. Uh, and I hit it great. I mean, it looked really good, but it came up five yards short. Uh, and I could have putted that one, but I felt like, I mean, I've been shipping well all, uh, the whole tournament, and I hit the spot I wanted to on the green. It just, I don't know, it just shot by 15 feet, and I didn't, I didn't make it coming back. It was sort of a disappointing finish after 35 pretty good holes. Jeremiah's unfortunate bogey opened the door for Gramigna's first Gap Middle Amateur title. For Gap TV, Tony Rajina.